Hello, I'm the Resolute Cartographer, and this is the 140th video of my Fallout 76 Surveil series. And here we are at West Virginia Lumber Company, as you can see from the sign right there. It's actually the uh, first place that we covered in the Surveil series. It has changed significantly with Wastelanders, and I figured it's time to cover it. So, let's take a look at this place now that uh, it's under new uh, ownership. In fact, before it was controlled by uh, Super Mutants. Now it has its own group of raiders called the Free Radicals. From the uh, sigils on the main buildings, as we'll see in just a second here, I do believe they are affiliated with the Raiders of the Crater. So as you can see that right there. That's the uh, sigil that they use up there because it looks like the uh, the large uh, space station that they've crashed there. Well, they didn't crash there. That they've occupied that crashed there. So this is their gate here. Of course, you come here uh, for the quest for the Wayward where they're trying to keep these guys from raiding them constantly uh, because they're coming after them for the treasure they believe that they have access to. Anyway, uh, let's take a look around. So they've got some vehicles here that they've upgraded. Keep that one in mind right there, that uh, big rig right there. And if we come back over this way, you can see this one as well, this limo. And then along with that, you've got uh, this pickup truck here. I believe that they uh, were planning on using these vehicles to raid the locals, and I think we can get a little bit of information on that from this holotape right here. Lugnuts Vehicle Modifications. So I uh, finally found a supercharger for Roper's limo. Sent Dog Breath and his crew over to Gorge Junkyard, and they hit the jackpot. Uh, they even found uh, an engine hoist, some big block double dump heads, and uh, pistons. Head gaskets are blown, but that shouldn't be a problem. I'll know more when I start ripping it apart. I'm also going to take a shot at modifying the exhaust and the suspension. The big rig is next on the list, though. I'm having spikes welded to the sides. That should save bullets when dealing with the ghouls. I just finished up mounting a harpoon gun on the hood. Can't wait to own some settlers with that thing. <laughs> the radical will rain hell on this earth once these vehicles hit the road. So this is another one of those situations where it feels like we're not seeing some of the Fallout universe because it appears that they actually were going to use these vehicles, meaning that these vehicles are operable, which is frustrating that we don't get to see that sort of thing. I'm hoping that with Fallout 5 we get to actually see some vehicles in motion and not just the vertebrates. I'm talking about cars because it's clear from this site and from other sites that we've seen that there have been operable vehicles in the aftermath of the bombs in the Fallout universe, and we've seen a little bit of that too. To my understanding, in Fallout 2, I've never actually seen it myself, but there is a vehicle that you can drive around in Fallout 2, and then along with that, I believe that we're supposed to think that the trucks at Camp McCarran uh, in uh, Fallout New Vegas have driven there. It's just it's frustrating that the current uh, creation engine does not seem to be able to support driving vehicles. Uh, again, hopefully with Fallout 5 we'll see more of this kind of stuff because this is kind of like Mad Maxian sorts of things that we're actually seeing here with uh, trucks like this with a harpoon gun on the on the hood and all the spikes and everything like that. Anyway though, um, I never actually mentioned the types of plants you could find here which are, well along with wood piles which are just a collectible node, you can also find potatoes, silt beans, wild corn, wild melon blossoms, wild gourd blossoms, brain fungus, and glowing fungus. Uh, as for the plants, you can, like the crop uh, vegetables and stuff, right back here. This is where you find them, the potatoes and all that. Uh, along for the, as, as the fungus, there's a cave inside the main structure there, which has been sealed off since Wastelanders to be its own interior, whereas that used to be open. Um, along with that, in addition to the uh, raiders, you can also find a couple of turrets here. Now, I've actually killed everybody and blown up the two turrets that are here to give us a little bit of a, uh, a nicer <laughs> trip around this place, but you can see the remains of one of those turrets right there. All right, uh, so why don't we take a look inside of some of these structures. If you come over here in this one, you can occasionally find a set of Raider power armor right here. Now we can also just take a look around here. There's a good amount of junk in this barn. Okay. Let's head upstairs. Get some more junk on the shelves. We can come around. And there's some more junk over here. There's typically two raiders that hang out in this building. One up here, kind of scrounging around, and another one on the ground floor. We have this little bar out here. And then we can head down here. 
down these steps, and we can check out this little structure over here. So we got a chemistry workbench right here. The dead raider right there that was working on it when I came through here. Um, getting some more junk, an outfit right there, some containers you can loot. This Someone end of the property. Really oh. to be. <laughs> it's a big property. I figured I probably missed at least one. Anyway, this uh, southern end of the property is fairly boring in comparison to the rest of the place. There is this tall structure here, but there's no uh, interiors really. And we can come up here. We can get a view of the uh, outside from up here. Pretty f Oh, there's another turret. <laughs> there we go. Again, I thought I'd cleared this place, but I'd forgotten about that turret. A lot of wood piles there, like I said. We got some more junk. Container there. Let's come through here. That's the main structure there. We'll take a look at that last. We got this uh, watering tower for this old... Oh. For this old railroad line. This is supposed to be the Ohio River right here. Which it seems pretty narrow for that. But uh, <laughs> anyway. We can come over here. We got a little shack. Some junk. Cabinets full of junk. We can come around this side. And there's a boat down here in the Ohio. Along with that there's this, uh, this water wheel here. If we come down over here we can get onto the boat. More junk. Radio there. Ham radio there. More junk. And it looks like they're planning on using this for raiding as well. Again, I want to see vehicles in future Fallout games. Alright, let's head back up this way. I was a little discouraged. I read a uh, an AMA with uh, Todd Howard today on Reddit. And basically someone asked, are there going to be ladders in Starfield? And he said no, because uh, they don't like using animations in-game. And that by itself was a bit discouraging for the idea of vehicles. But, I don't know, vehicles and ladders obviously not exactly the same thing. It's just... Uh, it was a little concerning. Anyway, we got a couple of flamethrower traps here, and that's part of this overall stage right here. And when you come here, you'll typically find two raiders, one of them playing this metal barrel as a drum, another one playing the steel guitar, and the same monotonous song endlessly until you kill them or they maybe discover you're hanging around. But if we come up here, we can uh, hit the activate flamethrowers on that plunger. And there we go. To go along with the uh, overall look of their stage act here. Medical vending machine right there. Can come into this large red barn here. Got a whole bunch of lumber here that must be left over from before the bombs. Okay, come up here. Little office, some junk. Okay. Out back. We got some lockers. A little bit of junk hanging out in the lockers. And then we can come around to the north end of the property. And this is where that water used to go down to the water wheel up there. Come across here. We got these gates that are all locked with the level zero. We got multiple gates though. In fact, I believe there's three, maybe four. Anyway, then we got the water tower here. Large pump right here for whatever reason. Probably to get the water from the river into the sluice, but that seems like a waste. Unless they're just doing this as some sort of like historic exhibit or something. Anyway. Another gate. Here's the uh, railroad that runs past here. You can come over here to get through this gate. Again, another level zero. Typically a raider hanging out over here. Got log uh, logs in these train cars. Unfortunately, you can't get any wood from these uh, giant piles of logs. Not like you can over at uh, Gilman Lumber Mill. In this case, they're just decorative. So then there's this central area here with some campers, some junk, and some tents. Again, more junk, and I think a couple of beers. No, just beer bottles. Okay. All right. I think that pretty much covers the exterior, so let's take a look at... Uh, well, actually, no, we didn't check this building here. This is their little jail where they keep settlers. You can see... A dead settler there. So not generally great guys. Uh, let's close that. 
right, more junk. Plenty of hard hats here. There's uh, some stems. How many stems did I find? Let me check that real quick. Nine stems over the, uh, the entirety of this place. All right, right up here, we have the saw, for where they would run logs past this, I guess. And <laughs> anyway, and that's supposed to be powered by the river. Okay, we can, uh, no, that's the way in. Let's check out over here first. I'll climb up here. And you can obviously come up those stairs as well. Up here we got some ammunition, some more junk. And if you come up here, we can get up to the top of this structure. And they got like a watchtower sort of a setup up here. All right, and I found a plan right here. Uh, this one is for advertising signs, I believe. Uh, along with that, if we, uh, I, re I realized just now there was one spot I did not show you over there. Ooh, man, <clears throat> I've been exploring this place in my Fallout worlds, um, in a filming world I've set up, which uh, just makes it so it's always sunny. But along with that, it uh, makes it so I can jump really high and don't take any fall damage. And I was <laughs> still still working under the delusions of that sort of a thing. Anyway, coming up here under the roof. We can climb up here, past another ruined turret. There's typically a guard up here as well. And I also found a magazine here. Alright. Let's get inside this main structure. Now, if you've done the Wayward quest line, you've been inside this main structure. And, along with that, the place is now empty. So, no enemies to be found in there, but huge amounts of junk. Okay, here's the middle floor, pool table, vending machine. Are we gonna get some uh, perfectly preserved pie? Nope. Uh, a little bar over here. And now uh, we got a brewing station there. This is where you paint the sign, leave the wayward alone or whatever. Anyway, then we can come up here. And they got a bunk room sort of a thing. Some lockers there. Some beds. More beds. Sitting area crafting area with a uh, tinkerer's workbench. Okay, let's head back down. And now we can go past the chemistry station there and head downstairs. All right, and we got a uh, fusion generator here, no fusion core in it this time. It seems like a little uh, workstation sort of a thing down here. And we can also then dive down into this tunnel. This is where the fungus is that I was telling you about. Okay, past this little underground river where you can find the glowing fungus there. And into this main room, well not main room, the uh, basically the like uh, head room. I don't know what it, uh, <laughs> the proper way to say that. This is where the leaders were hanging out. Uh, we also have uh, a wayward, inter the wayward interrogation. Say it again so the mic can hear you. The name. Crane. And where is this crane? I saw him. We were at this bar. The Wayward, just north of Flatwoods. And what does he know? He said he was on the trail of this vault. The people kind or the riches kind? The kind that holds stuff. The kind that holds stuff. <laughs> I'll consider the topic clarified. You think it's the treasure? I don't know. He, he didn't say. Well, seems like that'd be worth finding out, wouldn't it? it? Yes? Are you afraid of me? Oh, God, yes. Don't be. We're not monsters here. We're pragmatists. You can get off the floor. Are you... You're not going to kill me? Not unless you give me a reason. Do you have a place to go? No, no. Do you want one? What would you need me to do? Go upstairs. Have a meal and a drink. Share what you know. Maybe it'll jog some memories. From there, we can talk. And if I wanted to leave? We're all free men and women here. A little family. We take care of our own. Rest of the world, be damned. 
that seemed like a lot friendlier than some of the stuff we saw upstairs with like the vehicles they were planning to use to own the settlers. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we also got what's that smell? Notice for a reminder, either something died or someone was buried down here when they were digging this area out. Get Jackie to bring down a dog to sniff it out. Can't stand the, st the stench too much longer. About to hurl. All right, well, I don't know specifically what they're referring to with that. I didn't find anything down here that seemed to indicate that there'd be a body down here or anything. But anyway, there, I was looking at my notes while that was playing and I realized there's still one more holotape for us to look at and I will take you right to that. Sorry, it's actually a note, not a holotape. I was reading it uh, at a glance. And it started with a letter that looked like an H and had a second letter that was O, but now it was a note. And this note can be found in one of the porta potties right over here. There it is. The end of Razor Handle's career. Dog Breath is hands down the best guitarist in the wastelands. He used to play for Jesse White back in the day before the end of the world. Razor Handle, on the other hand, is a terrible drummer. He's sloppy and always plays off beat. Why does Roper praise him so much? Well, I've been practicing my drumming skills on the Night Watch and I plan on replacing old Razor Handle soon. First things first, I gotta get rid of him and I know how. I'm gonna lure him down to the river one night, probably Tuesday, and drown his sloppy offbeat no talent ass. Then Dog Breath starts looking for a replacement. I'll step up. I can see it now, touring around the land, playing good old fashioned jamborees. Okay. An odd dream to uh, play jamborees across the wasteland. Anyway though, uh, all that's really left now is for me to show you the full list of all the loot that I found here. A lot of stuff. Well, this has been the Resolute Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.